friends, welcome to ZKRM. My name is Bernie and I would like to provide you with uh, some Logic 5.5 um, tutorials and uh, whoever does not know what is a Logic 5.5, it's the last um, DAW for Windows. Yeah. And uh, the other version, the newer version after that um, was only available for Mac. Yeah, but I prepared four tutorials for you and I will show you how to use Logic 5.5 from beginning on until the end with a mix down and importing to Logic Pro X. Yes, this is possible. Yeah, so it saved me a lot of time when I used to work on my old um, songs, uh, which were produced in Logic 5.5. And uh, I, I, was, I was wondering how I can import these, uh, the song into uh, Logic Pro X and it is so super easy. I will show you this everything step by step. This one is the very first video tutorial which I'm going to show you. Okay, so the first tutorial is how about to uh, use Logic 5.5 in general and the second tutorial or lesson uh, is how to crossfade the different audio regions all right and the third one is how to mix down your logic song and the first and last session is about how to import the logic 5.5 song into logic pro x all right so it might be some of you maybe they don't you don't have the logic 5.5 version anymore and only you using logic pro x so but you still have the old files so this is the way i'm going to show you and um please um don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well this would help me a lot and i hope you enjoy my uh, vid um, video clips and please um excuse my bad english and um yeah, my outfit, yeah, <laughs> but it's just for fun, you know, and I thought, why not? We are locked down, so I can do whatever you want, you know. Yeah, anyway, if you have any questions, you can leave the comment or contact me. The only the thing, only what, thing I what I need to tell you is that I cannot support any questions about how to use Logic 5.5 with Windows Vista, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 10. So I have no experience with that. Please understand that. I only was using or still using Logic 5.5 uh, with Windows XP. So I am using an iMac. So I have my uh, virtual, um, virtual box um, environment and I set up uh, Windows XP and I have no problem with that to work on this old song, you know, to make, sometimes I have to bounce down the, to the tracks and then to import this song into Logic Pro X. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for listening and attending my uh, Logic 5.5 tutorial. And let's jump right into the lesson number one. Thank you and stay safe. Bye bye. My name is Bernie from ZKRM. Um, today I want to introduce you to Logic Audio Platinum 5.5. Um, I know it's a very old program and uh, beginning the version 6 is only available for Mac. And today I would like to show you how to use it uh, with audio and MIDI and the VSDI instru instruments and also how to mix down your tracks. Okay, I wish you a lot of fun and I hope I can do this in one scene in one row. Okay, have a nice day. Bye bye. Bernie. Hello, welcome. My name is Bernie from ZKRM and um, welcome to my tutorial for Logic Platinum 5.5. I want to um, show you how to use it very straightforward uh, in easy steps and uh, I hope I can do it in one row. Okay, when you open Logic, you click on everything is in German here, doesn't matter. Um, I will explain it to you. You click on file, then you close everything what is open just to reduce the latency and then you open uh, the pre generated a uh, file from logic uh, with auto start okay this you can arrange whatever you like and then uh, you can save it again uh, for your needs whatever you want to have it yeah okay the first thing what you do is you click on audio and then you click on audio hardware driver uh, or settings and then you have two um, 
tabs here, Audio Driver and Audio Driver 2. In Audio Driver, you have to tick uh, PC EV, uh, AV, which is for audio, and then you select Direct Sound. Because I noticed you have some um, hard latencies when you use MME, so better you use Direct Sound. And you can also select how many uh, audio tracks you want to have. In Control Panel, you can select your sound card. I have Sound Blaster uh, Audigy 2 set S and um, as an input and output and then larger disk buffer you can take it okay um, uh, do not uh, click on software monitoring otherwise you have um, an echo okay then uh, for MIDI you go on audio uh, driver 2 tab and you have to select to tick the box ASIO. Um, there is a free uh, software which is called ASIO for All, which is really very good. You have a control panel which looks like this and you have to select your sound card. I have um, installed now um, a MIDI keyboard from M Audio. And um, yeah, this this to the um, surface. I will show you some yeah, With, uh, there are some shortcuts. Uh, for example, one, you have this uh, range, um, arrangement uh, window. Then you have the, uh, the key eight, which is for the mixer. And uh, the five is you can arrange whatever you like. Yeah, uh, And then you can save it here, window number five, and you, uh, you save it. You also can copy it. Okay, depending on your uh, system, what you, what kind of language you have installed, you will see this in the uh, language in um, Logic because there is no option to change the language in Logic as far as I know. Logic um, accepting one gigabyte. I have four gigabyte RAM, but it doesn't uh, doesn't matter. The more gigabyte you have uh, on RAM and CPU, the higher, uh, the better, of course. Okay, now you have the chance, uh, you also have a transport window where you can um, adjust the tempo and also the grids um, here at the top, you can see you can change it uh, to your needs, um, yeah, 32, 16, 8, whatever you like. Um, you also um, have, you can start the recordings here with this button or of course, you have to select the R, and you or you can use the mult, multiply uh, multiple multiple. I don't know the English word for that. On on your keyboard, uh, mostly it's on the right hand upper side. Um, it looks like an X, and when you click this, you also can start your recordings. Okay, before you start to record, you have to set the path, and you go to audio, audio hardware driver, and no, I'm sorry audio again and then uh, set the path for your audio audio because in here you will uh, set the path where you are, rec uh, are you recording your audio you have to only to set the path for PC AV not for ASU okay and then you select wherever you want to store your files and actually the main track as well okay so I just go to de desktop and um, I set up a test folder already and double click and this is the name of the file of the um, from the song actually okay then you have the chance of course to change the window size like this or vertical like that whenever you like to record audio you have to double click yeah then you can see here uh, this is what I selected and then you have to select input and input one to two yeah because when you don't do that um, and then I show you when you click on record then you get this message okay so you have to select this one okay all right now the thing is um, you have um, audios you uh, whatever you selected how many you want to have the same is for MIDI the instruments are starting here okay and here you have the sound card sounds uh, yeah, which are integrated and they sound very bad. Okay, also, uh, well, the strings sounds a little bit better, but we have VSTI instruments. For example, you can play a track. Okay, I select this where you want where I want to record, and then, um, yeah, uh, first of all. Um, there are some people they um, are playing them well they're using VSDIs for the drum machine or they have tr um, hardware drum machines playing the tracks inside I'm doing this in the single ways so I'm naming each track like uh, bass drum 
bass drum, you can change um, the name of the track here on the left hand side. Snare on the third, hi-hat for example. Yeah. So now what you can do, you click on five and then you have your audio window. Audio window here. Yeah. And then you go to audio file and then to um, register for audio file. And then you select um, whatever wave files you want to play. So um, I go to my folder with all my um, wave files. Come on. Okay, wave files. And here I have my base folder and I'm choosing this, uh, my, where is it again? Yeah, doesn't matter. You also can listen to it. Hard kick. Okay, I take this one and then you click on ready. Then you can see it on the right hand side. Oh, I have some here. Anyway, let's say I selected this one, yeah. So I just drag it to the left hand side to the window and I can uh, hold it with the mouse and that can drag it. Uh, or I can copy it just e very easy with control key and left mouse. I copy it. I can mark with the left mouse and then to copy it again with the control and a left mouse and so on. Okay. Then I can uh, create a loop when I'm just doing that. From, I mark it just from here. Okay. So the snare, uh, I click on the key five and I select here my snare for my folder. Doesn't matter now which sound it is. Actually, my good snare is good. Okay, I add it and then ready. And I drag it also here. I click one and then come back to the main page. And then I put it here like that. Of course, it has to fit everything. So, and then I click um, on spacebar or return. Okay. Okay, and then the heights, we leave the heights for now. And then um, I can play something a uh, piano now. Uh, I click on um, the X sign uh, for multiplication and then it will start. Should be enough for now so now uh, I started a little bit later but anyway I can track I can track this to the beginning and then I double click on it okay and then you can see it um, on the left hand side you have 16th and one more 16th or different options mostly I take 16th Cont uh, control a to mark everything and then the Q key and then everything is in order. Um, here um, on the left hand side you have a small V and you can raise up the volumes from everything if you think it's too quiet. Just to adjust. And then you click again on the spacebar. You can hear it's not in timing so I mark everything like that or control A and I drag it to the beginning five. Okay, uh, I can set the loop as well now. I think it was here. Okay. Okay, so now the, the thing is um, that we have El ASIO, which is um, on these, what you need to use for the in, uh, MIDI instruments, of course. Okay, now I want to use something, another sound uh, with a VST, VSI, VSTI instrument. I just track the, what, what I just played to the first instrument. I double click on it and all um, a VZ, a VSTI instrument should be um, in your VSTI uh, folder within Logic. And when you start Logic, they will, um, they will be loaded. And then you just choose that what you want. 
And uh, well, there are so many free uh, BSDI um, uh, sequencer or software on the net. So mm, this is one what I like, for example. Yeah, so you have different sounds. And of course it needs to fit a little bit. Um, so for example, hmm, what can I use now? There is no uh, keyboard, something like that at the moment here. Yeah, stupid sound, yeah. Uh, but anyway, this is a way uh, then to use the VSDIs. And then, for example, when you have a lot of VSDIs and uh, the program is stuck, so it's getting uh, slower and slower and nothing is in timing anymore, then you just, um, uh, you just record the MIDI sound onto audio. Um, you have to make sure that uh, in your sound blaster you have all what you can hear selected otherwise it won't work and then okay you go on a, you select one audio track and you click on the r for a recording module modus modus and then you just um, mute the bass because otherwise you also recording uh, the drums then you click on the x again on your keyboard and then okay so now you can mute the MIDI or you also can delete it again when you double click here okay and you unmute again the drums and then you have you also you can delete it and then okay this was this and for the mix down you um, you ha still have ASIO you won't hear the, the audio when you have selected that so you need to change it to PC Okay, then you click on the R, and then you have to start and end position. The, um, it depends now if you like to uh, remaster your song in WaveLab or so, but I'm doing that, so I'm using 24 bits. Uh, but for your needs, just for your end production, uh, you also can use 16 bits. Okay, uh, you have no chance to uh, save it in MP3, uh, so in Wave or AIFF. So then you click on Bounce. Of course, you have to select where you want to store it. And I go here and I give it a name and click on save. Okay. okay. Mostly what I'm doing, I um, un uh, un I disable I disable um, uh, ASIO when I'm doing this uh, mix down in. Uh, with with audio uh, with pc because i don't need it anymore okay i hope this helped a little bit um okay if you have any further questions just contact me or uh, comment me below uh here um and i will give you some information later on and uh, my uh, email address is zkrm at gmail.com thank you very much bye bye